Hey guys, I'm LB, and, uh... Do you hear that? Sounds like stepping or static or something? It's coming from the game, but we're, we're back here with Parallax. This might be the last episode. New chapter unlocked. Right, I'm not sure what was making that weird sound, but that was very scary. Anyway, we've just got done with the whole laser annoying zone. Let's see... Oh no. More lasers. Why though? Alright. Alright. Like the exit's right there! Can't I just bend down? No. <laughs> Alright, well. Ooh, did this game take Which game came first, disoriented or this game? We saw this in an earlier level, but we didn't touch it. <laughs> oh yes, Spider Pig. Sure, whatever. Memes. Dead memes! That movie is so old! So that actually changes our gravity. Wow. So you can actually stop at any time on this, unlike Disoriented. And I know I said twime weird like that, but it's time. Yeah, we can stop at any time, whereas Disoriented forces you to, to finish. We kinda coast a little bit. I think that's just because it's changing the gravity as we're coasting or something. Still no awesome chip tune just yet, just some weird, weird music. What is this music? This is obnoxiously weird. At least it stops playing when we're in this world. But then we get the weird, creepy frog music. Okay, not sure what the point of that is, but sure. We'll do it. And now, over here, we can press that. There we go. And then I don't know if we need to press anything else, but let's just- let's just go investigate. Do some investigative journalism. Mm, yes, I do believe I needed to rotate one of those portals. So the one I need to rotate is... that one. Alright. There we go, it's been rotated. There we go. Might have done things a little bit out of order, but whatever. We'll figure it out. I can press this button now, which rotates where the button is, and what it rotates. There we go. Oops. Right, well, back through here we go. Mm hmm Actually, I think we want to press the other button inside first. Yeah, this one. Perfect. And then we just press this button. Lots of walking around. But yeah, Disoriented had the same problem as this game, where there's just tons and tons of walking around to do. For little to no reason at all. At least this game is much more challenging than Disoriented, and much better. This game is much better than Disoriented. Let me get that straight. This game is much better than Disoriented, but... It's- this game is still not great, in my opinion. It looks great! It looks amazing! And it's got very nice design. Visual design is great, outstanding, there's ant lines connecting everything, although the ant lines are often hidden, which I've complained about, and the puzzles are lacking. But other than that, it's great. Right, that's this level done with. Love that sound effect jingle. Perfect. Next. Another one of these exit blocked by lasers thing. Really not sure what the point of that is. What is the point of that? 
Is it just to taunt the player? Because you could just remove this path, and then remove the lasers, and it would be exactly the same puzzle. Yeah, just seems to be obnoxious. Just seems to be there just to annoy the player. And I fell off again. I don't even know if I pressed the button, but I think I didn't. There we go. Oh, that's interesting. Not quite what I expected that to do. Oh. Yeah, that- that would happen, wouldn't it? What can we do over here, if anything? Whoa, why is there such a long delay on this? rotate with it. Interesting. Now what? I can press this. Not sure what that does for me, but we'll press it, because I'm pretty sure I need to press it. Not much to do here. Okay. So now we just need to get to that... ...from the other side, right? What's the best way to do that? I guess easy enough. Not there! Oh, I think we want to do this again. Yeah, okay, I see. How do we get over there again? I was already over there again. So I just do this part again, rinse and repeat. Okay then. What determines whether you rotate with it or not? Weird. Alright, so now we just ride this platform, jump to here, there we go. And now we're effectively done, I believe, for the most part. Right? Yeah, just need to rotate these now. Yep, walk around here, and we are done. Excellent. This one was okay, but it wasn't much of a puzzle, it was just walking around pushing buttons. Like all the other ones. Too many actions, though. <laughs> Way too many actions. I heard that walking sound again. I don't know what that is. What in the world? What is even the point of this? Oh, it's to stop me from walking off the edge. Yeah. Because that would break the puzzle pretty easily. Or, you know, you could just design the game so that the player can't walk off the edge and fall to their death. Because honestly, I'm not convinced that the jump mechanic is required 
to be in this game. Like, you could just design all the puzzles pretty easily without th needing the player to jump at all. There's lots of ways to remove the death in this game. Yeah, if you just remove the ability to walk off platforms and you remove the ability to jump, then you don't need the laser things at all. The laser things can be completely removed from the game, um, from all the levels, and all the frustrating bits can be removed. I, I would stop falling off the edge. Yeah. There's no reason to allow falling off the edge at all, or jumping. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's start walking around and getting disoriented. Here's the exit platform! I made it! I did it! Hooray! <laughs> yep, 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 yep. What do we have through here? Can't really do much in here. Oops. I was wondering, can I stand on these buttons? I don't think I can, but I'm curious. That's weird, it like, pushed me out of the way, sort of. Nope, can't stand on them. Okay, can't do anything here. Let's go around here, try this direction. What do we have here? Okay, that's gonna rotate at some point. Interesting. Okay, why though? Okay. Uh, what's the best way to get over there now? Not this one. Is it this one? This is back where we started. Huh. We want to be over there, right? Yeah. I think so. I think this is intentionally designed just to be confusing, and it's ultimately a very simple puzzle. That's another thing I hate about this. Disoriented did the same thing, it's, it, it's intentionally designed to confuse you, and the actual puzzle is very simple, it's just laid out in a very inefficient and confusing manner, for no reason. And that's not what I would consider a good puzzle, that's like terrible puzzle design, really. That's the button I already pressed. So let's not press it again. Here I am. Just had to keep walking. No wait, that's what I pressed already, isn't it? Ah, whatever. WHATEVER! That doesn't even lead anywhere, does it? No, it leads to a button, okay. Haven't I done that already, though? Cause this one doesn't lead anywhere. Oh, it does lead somewhere! Oh, okay, never mind. Well, let's keep walking around until we find the right one, cause I'm not gonna try and figure out what the confusingness is here. I sort of get it, but I'm not gonna spend the mental energy on it. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Actually, I don't think I can do what I want to do here. At least not in an easy way. Interesting. Why are these here? Because I couldn't really do anything useful anyway. Whee! <laughs> hmm. Oops, I did not mean to fall off. going about this the wrong way. Come on now. Hmm. I 
again, not really sure what I'm doing, I'm just wandering around randomly at this point, because it's intentionally designed to be confusing. Oh, but I somehow ended up at the right place. Have I pressed this before? I don't remember. Oh, sounds like I have not pressed that before. Okay, now I just need to get to the exit. Wait, does that count as pressed? Okay, good. Yeah, now I'm just on the wrong side for the exit. That's easy enough to fix. I don't actually know how I did what I did, but I did it. So there. Take that, game developer. It's not good when a player can just wander through your puzzle randomly, not understanding what they're doing, and solve it. The whole point of a challenging puzzle is that you're not supposed to be able to wander through randomly and solve it. Point... Uh, as an example, I mean... Uh, when I played Facade, I was wandering around there randomly for ages, months, off-camera. And nothing I did was getting me any closer to the solution. So, uh, yeah. Not saying you should make facade level difficulty puzzles, but something more challenging than this, and less less crazy, obscure, nonsense, random stuff. Why does that have to move, by the way? Like, why can't there just be two portals at both positions? I mean, one portal at each position. Interesting, it like, tries to push me out? Oh, oh, oh! Okay, well that's good to take note of, I suppose. Can only be used from this path. So then what's the point? Why can't- Why is this path here? Why can't it just stay in the middle here? It could just stay in the middle and I could just walk around it. I don't- I don't understand. It's pointless. Pointless! Mad! Okay, we're gonna rotate this at some point, and then rotate it again... And then maybe rotate it again? This feels very much like disoriented, but better. Like, at this point, it's just straight-up disoriented. Yeah, it's straight-up disoriented. I need to figure out which game came out first, and if there- if anybody on the projects are related. Like, if they- if somebody worked on both games or something. Well, I can't do anything here, so that's pointless. Oh wait, I could do something there, what am I talking about? Oh, what? I don't even understand what just happened there, but something weird happened. Yeah, I can go in this direction. What does this do? Apparently it does some things that I can't really see very well. Alright, this isn't where I came from, so that's progress, I suppose. I can press this button from either gravity. Interesting. Now that goes somewhere, I suppose. And then, to do anything, I probably want to press this button down here again. Or oh, I can go this path. Where does this go? Oh, I could have changed my orientation this way. Hmm. Although, there's nothing to change my orientation. Yeah, why would I want to come here, though? Why would I want to come here? What is the point of this path? Because if I walk on that... Oh, I could actually walk through there, couldn't I? Yeah. Let's- let's go back and see what ha walking through there would do for me. Come on. I bet speedrunners must love falling off the edge. Speed speedrunners love falling off the edge, I'm sure. I- I pity anybody who has to speedrun this game, cause this is- this is obnoxious, just trying to speedrun this tiny little segment here. If you have to cut these corners tight by jumping over the corner, and uh, it must be really obnoxious to speedrun. Alright, where does this take us? Oh, look at this. Didn't need to do it yet, didn't need to do it yet. Alright, fine. Maybe we should start pressing every button we see as soon as we see it. That's worked so far in the past. I think almost every puzzle, I have just pressed a button as soon as I have reached it, and that has worked to make me move forward. And Disoriented was much the same way. Right, don't need to do that. Let's press this button. See what this does. Did I already press it? I don't remember now. I think I pressed it and then I needed to unpress it. Alright, so let's see what's through here. 
button on this side now. Alright, interesting. What does that do for us? Aha, finally we can press this. Yeah, they want to rotate it, and they want to rotate it again. Oh, the tediousness. Why? Disoriented was like the same thing where you had to like do tedious stuff like this. Yep, now we go back and do this. Okay, that's a thing that happened. Thanks for that game. I think it bumped me off the edge so it stopped rotating me. Nope, nope, nope. You do it through here. Then I gotta press this button. See how much walking around there is? I already know the solution. I already know what I have to do. And it's just a bunch of boring walking around at this point. I still love the visuals, though. The visuals are still great. Alright. Come on. Alright, now we gotta rotate it again. So you know what that means! Ah, uh, no, not this. Means we have to go walk all the way around again. Yada yada yada. Bam! Don't you just love a peaceful stroll in the abstract world? Don't you just love falling off the edge? There's lots of things to love in this game. I actually do love the way it looks, but, uh, the rest not so much. Hooray! We can actually get to the exit now. Alright, now, what's the best way to do that? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Right, I need to... I see. I see, alright. I'm gonna push this button now. And to the exit we go! Man, that was tedious, holy crap. Seven minutes! Seven minutes! For that simple solution. <sighs> well, on the bright side, I think we're almost done. Might be able to finish this episode, even. <laughs> it corrects you, if you don't do it right. Unless you do that! <laughs> Let's do that again. Oh man. It gets me sometimes there. I guess I think you get right past the trigger. Oh, come on now. Let's try the other direction. Whee! <laughs> Something about that's very fun. That's where the checkpoint put me in an odd position there. Come on now, how did I do it the first time? I definitely did it the first time. I'm just wasting time at this point, but it's fun. Come on, let me have some fun. Alright, whatever. So 
if I just don't move my mouse, this is what happens. But it's- I wanna actually see where I'm going, you know? So I look up to see where I'm going, and then it makes me look up again, when I really wanna keep looking here. So in order to counteract that, I have to look up, move forward, and then look down. And then look up again, and then look down. It's- it's- it's really confusing for somebody who's used to playing first-person games. I don't remember how Disoriented did it, but I think Disoriented was easier to work with in that regard. Okay. Not sure what that was. What is the point of this contraption? Seriously, what is the point of this? I don't understand. <laughs> that can be done. Ooh. I wonder if I could land on the edge there. Kind of? Kind of? I think I can just about make it. Yeah! Let's do that one more time. Come on. I'm just having some fun here. Oh, and... Man, the movement is really sensitive there, for some reason. There we go! <laughs> and I can't press this. Can't press it, but that's fine. Alright, let's actually figure out what we're supposed to do here. Uh, how about we go back from whence we came? Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, I've done that now. I don't remember how that helped me at all. Oh, now I can do this. Okay. And then... what exactly? I can press this now? Is this the one that I was at before? That I was messing with? I don't know what I'm doing at this point. It's like, it's a, like intentionally designed to be confusing for no reason. Like the other one. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I think I already did that. This is just the start. Oh, uh, okay then. That's a thing I've done. <laughs> oh, that's that's quite it's fascinating. It's fascinating, really. Oh, but it, it like auto adjusts. What? How does it auto adjust though? What? So if if it's is it based on being close enough? So this isn't close enough, and it doesn't auto adjust this way. Except I can totally climb up this. What? <laughs> How does that work? How does this work? Somehow I'm building enough momentum to climb up this slope, even though I'm sliding down it. Like, if I let go, I just slide down, but if I hold forward, I eventually go back up it? How does that work? That's so strange. <laughs> That's bizarre, man. Uh, oh, I don't even understand how I made that work, but sure, that was amazing. Uh, how did I do that? How did I do that? I don't even... Un oh, now it doesn't correct me. Come on, now. Ah, whatever. It's- it's weird in so many ways. I don't understand what I'm doing though, to be honest. I'm basically just walking around in circles at this point. I'm hoping that something I do will eventually cause me to make some kind of progress. Here. And then 
what? Then what? I don't even know what I'm- I think I'm just going in circles with these buttons. I don't know what I'm doing, because it's like, intentionally designed to be confusing. Well, this is useless. There's no point being here right now. What rotates this? That rotates it. How do I get there? I need to rotate... I need to get out through this somehow? How do I exit out of that one? I need to come out of that and into this. What rotates that? That does. What in the world, man? Why does this have to be so needlessly confusing? I'm completely and totally lost. That was rude looking. What the? What? How did- I don't even know what happened there. <laughs> so let me get this straight. I can jump up to here. And I can like... Kinda... Carefully walk up against it here. But then if I fall down enough, it, it starts to auto-adjust me. This game is so weird, man. That's the angle I needed. <laughs> well, that auto-adjusted me. That was not quite what I had in mind. Oh, come on. There's gotta be a way to make that work. That almost worked! That almost worked! Oh, come on. At this point, I'm not even trying to solve the puzzle. I'm just having fun with the weird physics. Alright, well... Clearly I can't think. I think I'm just gonna restart this one, and we'll, we'll figure it out in the next episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!